Yo guys, what up? In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make an account system. So apparently, I recorded another video before this video, and that video didn't have the microphone settings, and I'm too lazy to add text. So we're gonna add it in this video. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go here, make make your form. I'm not gonna remake the form just for the sake of another video. So make your form. Go into the button. So whatever button here, it can be used for exploits, whatever. Just make sure you're creating me, otherwise you're weird and gay. Uh, if you don't, I will literally go to your house and I'll molest you. So make sure to do that. So you want to go to your properties. How do you go properties? Go here. Go here and make user. Then you want to go here and make pass. Then you want to go here and go up to your sign. This is a really quick video. I'm, I'm trying to make it in one part. So in your in, in this video, we're going to be making an account system. In this video, we're going to be making... Alright, so actually, I'm not going to be making jokes, uh, so, you want to go here to your sign up code, and then you want to add in this code. Yeah, I didn't paste that, it was because it was on my freaking clipboard, until the video got deleted. Yeah, I really hate banning him, so, then we're going to do is, we're going to make the username register. We're going to write in, user, user, and pass, pat, okay. Okay. So. That means that password is okay. Then we're gonna go here. Properties dot settings dot default dot user equals username. This this will make the username save. No, not save. It will put it into the database of your personal computer. Dot default dot pass. Oh my god, this man has sent me weird shit. So uh oh, I forgot. Is this is yeah okay. So equals password. So this will now go and create an account. Then you want to go into, then you want to go to text box one dot clear, text box two dot clear. So you're done with that, right? Uh, pretty much now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be now saving the data. In shoe, is it save? No. Oh. Default dot save. Now what is it that sometimes Microsoft is retorted? So we're gonna add in a multiple save code function thingy whatever and then we're gonna add in come on bro. come on come on my, my cheap microphone's falling okay then we add in add it to new data please data and then we're gonna add in and then this is gonna be this i'm joking you don't really need that much if you actually thought you're, you're stupid but sometimes it doesn't save so now i want to do is we're gonna be dying in uh we're gonna write in Save to database, and then, and we're gonna make it force close the application because sometimes when you recreate an account, it'll it'll mess up the it'll mess up everything, and then we're gonna make a checker. So we're gonna go to form load, if, and then you add this dot user user dot no, we're gonna add in. If string dot is null or empty, then we're we're also gonna have to be preventing the user from and it is an app. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait! My brain's dying, guys. One minute. All right. So this means that not. So if if it's not empty, no. Wait, what? what? If it's not empty, then I'm gonna write in count exists long term account. Else, you're just gonna resume with whatever is happening. Resume. So let's resume the load up and run to this code. Uh, we're also gonna be doing this. We're also gonna be making sure the account really exists. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make text box one dot text. See that? Text box two. See that? The auto suggestion are just killing it, bro. I like the auto suggestions. Pass. Now we're gonna make sure the username is not blank. So we're gonna do in if text box one dot text equals equals string dot is null or empty. What the hell? I swear to god that's how you do it. What are you talking about? What the hell? Oh my god, is it like Oh, oh, okay. 
Sorry, I became retarded again. But uh, anyways, <laughs> I shouldn't really be making fun of those kids. But uh, I don't care. If textbox one dot oh my god, if textbox one dot text is empty, then we're gonna write in. No, no empty user. So we're gonna be making sure that. So there we go. Some people really put it like that, and we also make a password one, but I'm too lazy. Then we're gonna do in the code. No, what? What? What the hell? Oh, so if it's empty, otherwise they'll save it. So let's see, guys. Let's see. Now I'm gonna start it up. That code should work. Uh, if it doesn't work, I'm gonna cry. So it's on my other screen right now. So think of a username. Big boy monkey balls. No, monkey monkey balls. Balls. We're gonna click on sign up. User and pass. Okay, Ching Chong. Add it to your database. Save to database. So now it'll clear it just in case to prevent any duplos. What the hell is a duplo? Typo. Fuck. Exile exists. Login time. So it did save my username and balls. So does this work if I delete it? No, because the data is saved inside of the application. So account exists. Login time. Uh, that's good. So let's take a snapshot real quick, guys. So, okay. Alright, so it does save up perfectly. We can save it again. For example, egg, nog. Now to do it, egg. It'll create a new account. Actually, it, it won't create a new account. Rather, it will modify it. So then it'll change the username again. That's how you, like, you can make it. Egg. But we're also going to have to make a login page. So... I do the exact we're not gonna like really make a login page all you have to do is just check if the username is matching so we're st we're technically telling the user to remember his own username i was really not that secure you can also tell them to like send a password recovery uh if you have a, if you have a sql sql uh server but yeah that's really how to make a sign up system not that hard guys right uh Thanks for watching guys. Peace out. I'll probably make part two on how to make a login.